A Euronews poll has shown that Hungarians are not convinced by the official version of events surrounding Josef Sayer's activities in Brussels last weekend. The longtime ally of Viktor Orban resigned from the ruling Fidesz party. He stepped down as an MEP as well over breaking COVID restrictions by attending a gay sex party. Everton Gale reports. Hungarian society does not accept the government's framing of the scandal of the ex-MEP Joseph Shire. The politician is all over the news because of what he did in Brussels. A Euronews Commission poll found that only 2% of the respondents think that Shire participated in a house party in Brussels, as he later claimed. Meanwhile, 69% of those who asked see the event as a sex orgy with drugs. Similarly, only a small percentage agree with the view presented by Hungarian media that Shire's biggest mistake is that he breached anti-Covid measures. Instead, 65% of people feel that he acted contrary to the values of the constitution, which Shire himself co-authored. Three quarters of those who answered the poll think what happened is a matter of public interest. Views are split about the possibility of the scandal hindering the cooperation between the EU and Hungary. But more than 70% agree that the scandal is bad for Hungary's reputation around the world. Well, to break down those figures, we're joined now by Andras Batis, who runs the company that carries out this poll and is a former spokesman for the Hungarian government. Thanks very much for speaking with us here on your news. Considering Thank you very much how for the, invitation. the Hungarian government pressures the media, are you surprised that so many people aren't buying the official version of events that's being given to them? It's quite surprising, especially if you look at the so-called parallel nar narratives, uh, let's say, concept. Because if you look at Hungary, there are two very different Hungaries. If you look at one outlet or another media outlet, you can see very different images of our country. And even though, the, let's say, the pro-government or state-owned, state-controlled media tried to push the story that Mr. Sire's case in Brussels was a house party, just 24, 36 hours after the, the, you know, the, the, the story break, uh, people extreme, were extremely well informed about what exactly happened. So what does exactly mean? This means that whatever they did, they tried to talk about this just the resignation. You know, the state on media just talked about that he uh, apologized that he was at an illegal house party. But people didn't believe that. So when we uh, conducted our survey just one, one and a half days after the whole scandal broke here in Hungary and in, in, in Belgium and in the world as well, 70% uh, of the respondents already heard about that something happened. And as the viewers could see in your summary, well, well put together a summary, that a big proportion of them, 70% of those who heard about the, the case itself, believed it was a sex party with drugs, and only 2% of the population believed that it was a house party, as it was conveyed massively from the pro-government media outlets. Yeah, I think in Hungarian that's called a huzi bully for a house party, and people, it seems, were just were not buying that. Do you think Viktor Orban's government will sit up and take note of what this survey shows, or do you, do you think they don't really care? I think that they do not care about the survey itself, but they do care about the story itself. Because I think this is all about hypocrisy. And people don't like hypocrisy at all. Because what we, we found in the survey, that when we ask the respondents about what do they feel the most objectionable part of Mr. Sire's act or behavior, this is not drug possession or escape from the police. This is that he acted incoherently to the values, or compared to the values, his party believes in, and what he himself also wrote into the Constitution. So this is hypocrisy. Obviously, uh, I think that it doesn't necessarily mean that voters or potential voters will immediately change their mind or political uh, perspective or preferences. But I think this is 
one of the biggest, if not the biggest scandal in the last years in Hungary, and it will have an impact for sure, I think both from an international point of view and also domestically. Andras Batis joining us there. Thank you very much and thanks for the work in carrying out this poll.